Hoe veel moet ik betalen? Ik heb het kaart gewoon echt. Ik heb het gedoe zo meer wies. Tess is a film about a sex worker called Tess. The fact that she's a sex worker is kind of by the by. She's a woman, a young woman who is undergoing a huge tumultuous emotional journey. And it's about her facing the truth of her childhood, coming to terms with where she's come from, and being able to move forward with some kind of inner dignity attacked. So, where is the princess? Her mission is not to feel, not to think, barely to be. And then, one day during one of her jumps, a condom breaks, and her life swings 180 degrees. As she swanger is never Baba Ho, which you deliver in the sea and going. It started as a book that I wrote called Whiplash, and it's now an Afrikaans movie called Tess. We had to change the title because there's been a very exceptional film um, directed by Damien Chazelle with J.K. Simmons in the lead called Whiplash. So we was robbed. We were very unhappy about having to change the title. The novel is so visual, and I saw the places that I know and love, this area of Musenberg, gritty, beautiful. I saw this incredible emotional journey playing out against this background that I knew this had to be a film that I would give my eye teeth to direct this film. Tess? Yeah? How come you take your panty? We looked at over 100 women for the part of Tess. She's a very layered character to play. What I loved about Christia Fiss's acting is that she's very naturalistic. It felt like it came from within. She was the right age for Tess, and she's brave. Seit as young meisje en as ouer vrou deur goed gegaan, want eindelijk geen persoon behoort deur te gaan. Tess's manier van deel is is Eerstens om pijnkillers te gebruiken, om, om, om je zeer te nam. En wat mijn meizing is van haar is dat zij maak de besluit om dit te stoppen. Merrick, who is played by the fantastic Brenda Daniels, is deeply traumatized by his own childhood. He and Tess are actually very similar characters in a way. It's as if they were both emerged from the same dark river. Madeline is played by Nse Ipe Etim. She is a Congolese refugee who has come to South Africa after escaping terrible wartime suffering in the DRC. Come, help me to source the queens. <laughs> Sequence! Working with Christia Fisser, like she calls herself. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. She's a beautiful actor. She's got depth. She gives you everything, completely. She's a vulnerable actor, and that's what you want. It was very challenging. Physically, my life had been turmoil. I had my physical and emotional a bit of a for this role, but it is okay, because it's nodig. We were happy to set a meeting up with the friends of Embrace Dignity, to get the realness of it and to understand what the friends do. Als ik die cellen type leier kan krijgen van iets wat ik in mijn leven al beleef heet, dan dat ik dit in gewerk in ik maak baar gebruik van mijn imagination. Dus hoe ik dit gevind dit op je einde, ik denk meer tijd van mij gevind. Zo waren het prinses. Is eindelijk bij je sweet. At the heart of the story are things that I care about deeply, things about um, violence towards children against women, and I felt that these have been taboo for too long and that I really wanted to be part of trying to break the silence around those.
Wat wil jij, Mary? Bonita is een lekkere kus. Die mijn thema is moest allemaal abuse. En ik, ik, ik was nooit geabuse, nee. ik heb een wonderlijke familie. En, so dit is een moeilijke, dit is een moeilijke ding voor mij om in te springen. Te gaan, oké, okay, ik verstaan dit, want ik doe niet. En ik was altijd die type persoon dat, wel, de meeste mensen is, ik denk zeker maar zo, so, je weet, sekswerkers is daar en jij, jij probeert om niet te veel aan te denken, nie, want je soort van bang voor wat het erg is. Al gaan de karakter er goed wat de mensen voelen. Yes, maar niemand moet dat gaan nie, niemand behoort dit te beleef nie. Is dit iets wat so baie vrouwen in ons land en in die wereld doorgaan? I was shocked. And um, shock is a good thing. I have been going through these things for a month. But women that really go through it, go through it for years. This is why we're doing this. Is to get, <clears throat> to get the story out there and to get people to understand what women are going through. Is that a compete?